Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a Bitcoin video. We have an extremely important video today because Bitcoin has come upwards and it's testing a major resistance zone. Not only the resistance zone, but also a very important descending resistance line and also a very important descending resistance line on the daily chart RSI. Guys, Bitcoin is on the edge of breaching into a parabolic bull market. And if it fails here, if it goes down here, right, and drops below the nearest support level, that is very damaging to the macro structure for Bitcoin. So this is almost a life or death situation here for Bitcoin. And we are on the brink of seeing the result. Now, I'm macro bullish. I believe the break will be upwards. I think the data indicates that, uh, but it's not certain. And for that reason, we need to watch it very, very closely. So very important stuff to discuss in the charts in this video. But then also in the second half of this video, I'm going to be looking into some community questions. Okay. I did a YouTube community post. I said, ask me questions about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency that you want me to answer in my next videos. Uh, you guys left 17 questions. Uh, and in this video, I'll be answering the first couple of them, the first few of them. But go ahead and chuck some more questions underneath that community post and I'll answer more of them tomorrow. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed in advance uh, or hope you enjoy, I should say, in advance. Before we get into the actual content today, let's check out the VIP group on Telegram. Uh, on Telegram, you can find the VIP trading group. We trade altcoins four to five times a week with altcoin trading signals posted directly to you in a group chat. Uh, you also get access to a discussion group where you can discuss the market, discuss the trading signals with other VIP members and get into an exclusive community. Uh, you can do all of that with the link down below. Without further ado, let's get into it. Answer two. So stick around for that as well, but let's get into the first half of the video. Again, just keeping it, keeping it quite brief here today. Uh, we did an extensive breakdown of this Bitcoin range in our last video. It's not worth doing again. We've done it so many times. I think you guys understand it quite well by now. Just a brief breakdown though. Okay, what's important here for Bitcoin? What are the things that actually matter here? First and foremost, the bottom of this range is 61,000. Uh, the $57,000 wick that we had down here is not the bottom of this macro range, in my opinion. That was a justified deviation. That justified deviation took place so that we could retest major indicators such as the bull market support band, which we did, such as the 13 year long ascending support line, which we did, such as the Pi cycle center lines, which we did. All these things were justified uh, or, or made a scenario in which it was justified to drop below the range briefly to that 57k level. Uh, I don't think that 57k level is actually part of the range that we should be looking at, especially considering that all of those indicators are dynamic indicators. Okay, bull market support band, 13 year support line, uh, price cycle central lines, they're all indicators that are moving upwards. Okay, so right now they actually sit more at something like 61k. And so the bottom of this range, in my opinion, on Bitcoin is 61,000. And the top of the range is not actually the all-time high. The all-time high is 73K, right? And yeah, look, if you're being technical, if you want to be precise about it, you can say the all-time high is the top of the range. But in reality, we can see the major resistance zone here is not really the all-time high. The major resistance zone is this red rectangle on the screen uh, between 71.2 and 72K. That's where we've seen the vast majority of the resistance and support retests. If we zoom in in the shorter-term charts, we can show you that very, very clearly. So in my opinion, the macro range uh, you know, although it actually is technically between 57 and 73, we can narrow it down using basic methods of TA and we can say the macro range for all intensive purposes, keywords for all intensive purposes is actually between 72K and 61K because breaking 72K will lead almost certainly to a breach of all-time highs and breaking 61K will almost certainly lead to a destruction of the macro bullish structure. That's the simple reality. So in my opinion, the levels that matter are 61K and 50 and 50, uh, sorry, 61K down here and the red rectangle at 72K. Of course, there's another major level and that is 66, roughly 66, 67. This line right here, that's another major level on the medium term time frame. Uh, it's a level we've discussed so extensively. Uh, it's a level that held for resistance on multiple occasions here that knocked Bitcoin back down in every single retest. We finally got above it. We flipped it for support and we've bounced off that price region. The reason why the Bitcoin price action right now is interesting, the reason why I'm even making this video discussing it is because we are now for the first time in about a you know, in about two, almost three weeks, we're testing the red resistance box, okay? Not only that, but we're testing uh, the RSI descending resistance on the daily chart. Now, if this RSI line breaks and we get a daily candle close above that RSI line, I would expect the 72K level to break. Uh, and of course, if the, you know, descending resistance line here in yellow or the 72K level in general breaks, 
awesome. But the fact of the matter is the reason why I just said something about the RSI there is because if we want to front run the breakout, right? If you want to have a predictive method for, you know, how do, how do we get in before the breakout occurs or how do we see the breakouts happen before it actually happens? How do we predict the breakout? You need to be waiting for uh, a, a, you know, breakout of this daily chart RSI because that is going to be able to front run the breakout for you. It's a very, very major uh, thing in TA, if you have these RSI descending resistance lines, which match the price lines, generally speaking, when you break those RSI lines, that leads to a breakout in the price lines. Okay, so if we break the RSI line first properly, uh, that will pretty much guarantee, not guarantee, but it will make it very, very likely that the actual price levels are going to break as well. But right now, nothing's broken. Okay, very important to note, nothing's broken right now. Uh, there's been no breakouts whatsoever. We've just tested it for the first time uh, a few hours ago. And I can't really say anything else about it. Now, do I think it will break on this attempt? Uh, I think that's likely, right? I think I've always said this in this entire price range. I think, again, as I've said for the last few weeks here, we are more likely to break 72K uh, than we are to break the 67K support level, the vague support region at 67K. And so now that we're coming up for a second retest of that level, yeah, I think it's more likely we break out here. Right now, it doesn't have to be right now. No, we could go down for a little, you know, a little rejection before breaking out. It could be right now, but yeah, I think we are more likely to break the upside here. I would love to see that. If we don't see that and we do come down and break below the 67K level, that would be concerning, okay? Because that would mean after basically, a, you know, almost a month of consolidating above that 67K level, we're dropping back below it and re-entering a range that we were in for two months previously. That would not be good news. So in order to maintain health on the Bitcoin charts, in order to maintain strength on the Bitcoin charts, it's not really necessary to break upwards right now today, otherwise we're screwed. No, that's not really the scenario. Uh, what we need to be doing to maintain strength and health on the Bitcoin charts is breaking out of 72K before uh, or instead of breaking below 67. Breaking below 67 will be very bad for the medium term structure and will lead to retests of the entire macro structure, okay? And those will not be fun retests. They will be nail biting retests. So it's within Bitcoin's best interest here uh, to break up with sooner rather than later. Uh, and it's within Bitcoin's best interest to remain above 67,000 or the vague price region around 67,000 at all costs. If we look at this chart in a week from now and we're below that price region, we've rejected from it and we're coming back down, that's really bad news. So the bullish scenario is very clear. We've got to break up uh, basically around this time. It doesn't have to be today, uh, but you know this, this little medium term range that I've just circled, that has to break to the upside essentially. Uh, otherwise, we're starting to look pretty dodgy on these charts. But I think it will. I think there's a good likelihood that that happens. I think that's the most likely scenario, plain and simple. There's really not much else to say about the Bitcoin charts other than you need to be watching that right now because it's happening right now. So watch it very closely. Uh, what else can we look at here? Well, total three cryptocurrency market cap is just confirming what we already said about Bitcoin just then. Uh, total three cryptocurrency market cap being a chart that measures every single dollar in the cryptocurrency market in altcoins. Okay, so minus Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it's on the verge of its fifth and final step. If we're copying the same pattern that we did in the last cycle, which we are, uh, the fourth step was a retest of the bull market support band and one more consolidation even period before breaching all time highs and going into a parabolic bull market. Guys, we're on that step right now and we have been for quite a while now. Uh, and you know, if Bitcoin does edge upwards here and break 72K, we can very well expect that final step to start occurring, that parabolic bull market to start off. All of the macro data, all of the macro indications are very clear. The macro is exceptional. The macro has had you know, has, has cleared the path for Bitcoin to really get started and crypto to really get started. Uh, and it has been doing that for the last two months, right? So now it's just time for Bitcoin to actually move uh, and we need to be seeing that. So that's why I'm saying it's very important to watch these levels here. Ladies and gentlemen, just a 30 second interruption here. I want to talk to you about three exchanges. If you want an exchange that is very low in trading fees, okay, and is also very secure historically, never been hacked before, very low in trading fees, these are the exchanges for you. The Bitunix exchange, the Bing X exchange, or the BitGet exchange. You can find my referral links down below for either one of these exchanges. Bitunix is global non-KYC, the same as BingX, and BitGet is global KYC minus the USA. Take your pick, they're all down below. My links are down below. 15% trading fee discounts for life with those links. Go ahead and sign up with them to help yourself by getting on a good exchange and to help the channel as well. Guys, without further ado, let's get back into it. 
Uh, not really much else to get into in terms of Bitcoin. We're just waiting and seeing with that resistance level. But again, very important to watch it very closely. Let's get into some questions here. Now, I haven't, um, you know, I'm not going to, as I said, I'm not going to do five minute analysis on each question. I'm going to give brief answers here, but I think you'll find some of them useful. Uh, you can go down to the pin, the pin comment below and skip through the questions. I've got timestamps down there. So check it out. Let's get into it. So question one here, do I believe that most of the top 100 altcoins will reach the previous cycle all time high or beyond? Uh, that's a very hard question to answer because I'd have to look through every single coin. But on a general basis, on a general basis, most altcoins uh, do not uh, do as well in the current bull market than they do in the prior bull market. Okay, Most altcoins see one strong bull market and they might see another weaker bull market where they're not quite reaching all-time highs and then they'll die off. That's been the trend very clearly. We don't even need to look very far for that. All you need to do is look at the historical snapshot of coin market cap from 2018. So this is only uh, two bull markets ago, okay? Uh, so not very long ago at all. This is six years ago. Very, very recent still uh, on a macro scale. Uh, and you know you, you can see that a lot of these coins, yeah, they're well known over here. You can see a lot of these Litecoin, Bitcoin, Cash, Cardano. Everyone knows these coins. But even up here, NEM. Who's heard of NEM recently? Not many people. Uh, what about uh, QTUM? Not many people. LISC. Icon, Nano, Sia Coin, Bytecoin, Zcash, Verge. Verge is still around a little bit. Zcash is still around a little bit, but they're mostly dying off. BitConnect, BitShares, Populous, you know, Denticoin, Status, Ardor. Guys, these are the top 30 coins from, from 2018. You know, just literally the bull market before last. And yeah, look, the top 15, you recognize pretty much all of them. But as you go down below the top 15, you realize that 80% of these coins have not been even mentioned on any YouTube video for like, five years okay so this just goes to show you that just because a coin is very popular just because it's on the you know on the um on the top 100 mark cap list doesn't mean it's going to do well not at all uh it means it's it's safer it's more likely to hold up it's more likely to be around but it's not certain i think historically i don't have a da i don't have data for this but i think if i just have to make an estimation based on being in this market for a long period of time i think historically you're probably going to see you know say for example you know 2021 bull market all the coins that are in top 100 in the 2021 bull market, you're probably going to see maybe 30% of them, 40% of them reach all-time highs again. You know, it's very, very hard to say. But the fact of the matter is, just because something's in the top 100 doesn't mean it's going to go to new all-time highs. That, that's not certain at all, especially when considering tokenomics and circulating supply and things like that. Uh, so don't expect altcoins to do well uh, because they did well in the last cycle. All right, that, you know, at the end of the day, fundamentally, there is an underlying element of luck when it comes to altcoin investment investing, and that's that's just the truth. Okay, because cryptocurrency markets a very small market, and I can tell you right now, uh, fundamentals don't matter very much to a lot of people. What matters is marketability, uh, and if a coin's not marketable, it's not going to stay around very long, right? Why do you think Doge is still here? It's marketable. Doge is trash fundamentally. No one cares what Doge does fundamentally. I bet you people couldn't even name what it does fundamentally. Fact of the matter is, it's good marketing. That's why it's here. You know, you've got coins like, you know, Commodo, uh, what, uh, Waves is still around, Steam, Stratus. These coins are bad marketing. Otherwise, they'd still be here. I can't even remember, you know, they're not household names. I can't remember what they, what they do. I can't remember what they are. They probably had good fundamentals. Okay, that's why they were there originally, but they had no longevity. Uh, this is why I always say as well, I know I'm making this answer quite long, that it's very important, okay, not to fall in love with an altcoin. Because at the end of the day, you can fall in love with an altcoin, you can put all your money into it, and it could be great, but it still could fail, right? And, and that's happened countless times in the past. In fact, it happens more likely than it doesn't. So be very careful with altcoin investing. Never, in my opinion personally, uh, do long-term altcoin investments. Altcoin investments are cyclical trades, okay? You hold them throughout the bull market and you get rid of them straight away when the market starts looking bad. They're not long-term investments. If history has showed anything about the cryptocurrency market is that 99% of these coins will not succeed in the long term. And even the coins that you think may succeed in the long term, like for example, Litecoin. Guys, Litecoin dropped 96% or like 93% in the last bear market. It's not something you're going to hold. You're going to hold it for the bull market and sell it straight away at the top. So long answer there. Uh, but but very important answer. And perhaps I'll do some of these more some of these questions tomorrow actually because uh, this looks like it will, it will drag out a bit. But another one: what percentage uh, what percentage odds do you think we'll see an accelerated cycle versus a regulated cycle a regular cycle? So he's asking the question: you know, do we think we'll see Bitcoin topping out as per four year cycle theory in late next year, or do we think we'll see a, a left translated cycle where it tops out earlier than that? I think at this point in time, given the data that I'm seeing currently, 
uh, I'm leaning more towards an earlier top. An earlier top. I, I, I think at this point, the data is, is quite clear in saying that, you know, the four-year cycle at a regular October 2025 top is unlikely. It's not disproven. It's not invalid. The data is still valid. Uh, but, you know, we're looking at the macro economy. We're looking at, you know, the, the preliminary breakouts for Bitcoin, breaking all-time highs before we saw the halving, things like that. Uh, you know, it's that stuff we've never seen before. Uh, and if we're just looking at this from an objective point of view, Bitcoin is moving much faster than it's previously moved. It's about 200 days ahead, ahead of schedule right now as per four-year cycle. Uh, I think the argument is definitely stronger for a left translated cycle uh, than it is for a regular cycle topping out in late next year. The problem is that leaves us in the dark because all of the historical data uh, supports the late next year argument. And there's not really many historical trends that have formed that, that show us where a top, what a top could look like if it's going to be earlier than that. So it's quite hard to, it's quite hard to plan for. And this is why I've always said we're, we're in a more reactive cycle than we are in a predictive cycle. Okay, you're going to benefit more from reactions this cycle rather than predictions. In prior cycles, like last cycle, the cycle before, I was very public about how the four-year cycle is the holy grail about you know, the TA, it's going to be the best thing ever. And I was able to predict the tops, you know, months and even a year in advance uh, at some places in the bear market bottom, the bull market top, because the four-year cycle was just so strong. Right now, it's not that strong anymore. And so I don't think predictions uh, have much power anymore. I think what has power is reactions. Uh, what else? One of my top 10 altcoin picks, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I, 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 don't like getting into specific altcoin picks too much on this channel. I've done videos on it before. You can go search them up, altcoins, bull market, you rules crypto, but I don't have a top 10 altcoin picks. I don't, I don't I don't fall in love with altcoins. I don't care enough about altcoins. It depends what you're looking for. It depends on your risk tolerance. It depends on what, what sector you're looking for, what market cap you're looking for. I don't have these specific coins that are, you know, 30 million market cap that I think you get a 500x. That's not how I invest in altcoins. I spray and pray, right? I, I take 30, 40 coins, and I say, okay, this is the one that's going to sort my, you know, suit my portfolio the best. This is the one that's going to give me the best exposure. It's personalized. It's all personalized. And so for that reason, I can't really sit here and just throw altcoin picks at you because I don't think it would be intellectually honest to do that. Uh, and yeah, I've done it before. I've done it in live streams. Again, you can check out the altcoins I'm interested in. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not speaking about altcoins ever. You know, if you go to my YouTube channel and you go to my live stream I did, uh, just about two weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, two, three weeks ago. Bull Market Bonanza live stream. There's a section in there and you can find it very easily where I went through an altcoin watch list that I have. I showed you altcoins that I think are decent, but I'm not going to sit here and give you my top 10 altcoin picks because I don't quite frankly care enough and I don't quite frankly have them. It's extremely personalized. Uh, what else? Do you believe the halving's priced in? Uh, yes. Yeah. Generally speaking, uh, Events like that, events like the halving and things like that are priced in before they actually occur. Uh, and the halving has occurred. So priced in is kind of, it's kind of a confusing question, I suppose. Random fun question. Do you think Satoshi will ever come back or do you think he is dead? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think anyone does. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, look, it would be awesome if he never came back. Uh, I think it, there's, it's a strong point of marketability in Satoshi remaining anonymous. I don't think we want to know who it is. I think that kind of destroys the enigma of Bitcoin. I think we want him to remain anonymous. But yeah, this took quite a long period of time. Uh, go, go ahead to my YouTube community page uh, and leave a question in this specific post right here. I'm going to dive into it further tomorrow. So I got through only five questions from the same person. Go ahead and leave a question on this, uh, this post right here uh, and I'll dive further into some of those questions tomorrow. Uh, yeah, should be interesting to get into. I'll, I'll try to skim through a few more and I'll try to do it in less depth so we, we have kind of more answers coming out, but I think we'll end it there. It's 17 minute video. I think we got through a decent amount of content there. Uh, and I don't want to bore people with a bunch of random questions. I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, should, should make for an interesting video. So go ahead and spam your questions in that, in that community poll and down below. And yeah, I'll check them out tomorrow. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next video. Before we end it though, and just a final note, guys, if you're interested in learning how to trade, you're interested in trading education, you can get educated with the Crypto Academy's Become a Trader Bull Market course. This will teach you everything you need to know about trading, TA, charting, uh, and you'll be able to, as per the name, become a trader with the information you can find in this course. We have a bull market sale right now for a limited time. So a discounted price for a limited time. Check it out. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. Cheers.